Now, I've said this before, and I probably have said it so many times, you're tired of hearing this, but I'm gonna say it again. So there's so many exciting ones that hit the shores of North America, such as this one here, Southwestern France. Now this wine, I'll tell you about it in a moment, just to frame it, it's coming from the Côte de Gascogne. Now this is in the Armagnac region. Armagnac, as you know, is the distilled spirit. And this region, specifically the Côte de Gascogne, now this region was approved in 1982 to produce high quality wine. So this is west of two important markers. That would be Gaillac, as well as Toulouse. I'll put a map right here. So I'll put a shape around this area so you can see where this is specifically. Now you're gonna find these grapes like the Petit Mansing, and the Gros Mansing that grow in this region. There is a different style and characterization that you're gonna get from this region alone that you're not gonna get saved from a Petit Mansing, which does grow in the United States. Now you have Petit Mansing growing chiefly in North Carolina, Georgia, and Virginia. Now I've tasted uh, at least the Virginia Petit Mansing and they do characterize differently. They're dry. This is a sweeter wine. And I'm not gonna say an absolute sweet wine, but I would treat it as a dessert wine. Now the loveliness on this wine is just its unique story, heritage, and its uh, friendliness to food as well. Now here's what we have. I'll bring this a little closer. Now this is Domaine de Popol. This is 2016 vintage listed right there, 12.5% ABV. And you see right here the variety Petit Mansing. Turn this around so you can see this as well. I think it's a really handsome wine. 65 grams of sugar per liter. So there's uh, you know absolute clarity in terms of what this wine is and what it is not. Uh, but I do find very remarkable. And you know because it has a lower alcohol point, I'm not going to pour a lot. Uh, that's based on the sugar content. I'm going to serve this wine with dessert. In addition, I may serve this as an appetizer wine, somewhat uh, as an aperitif. So I'm going to enjoy this with salty snacks. Um, cheeses, uh, salumi or charcuterie. Definitely enjoy this with, uh, you know, truffle popcorn. There's a lot of things you can do with this. And of course, dessert, uh, foie gras suggested, and I can definitely see this pairing nicely with foie gras. I think this wine is really handsome, beautiful and sculpted. And I think to me, you know, we live in a world where we are finding that still wines, uh, dry wines are really acceptable, right? That's the heart and mind and soul of many people. But there's so many categories of the sweet wines that are fantastic and have a purpose and do a great service to your guests and yourself. Uh, definitely Madeira, you're gonna have port, you're gonna have sherry. The, the difference here is that you can taste a really nice nuanced characterization of this wine that is just sublime and beautiful. Now this is a 93 point wine out of 100 points. And what I love about this wine is a really great sense of uh, gardenia flowers, golden flowers, dried apricot notes, a bit of dried fig, commas pear, which I love, and a hint of almond. Serve this in a normal glass because it's gonna swirl around nicely, fold with oxygen. You get to smell and enjoy this wine. And that's the beauty of really experiencing this in this format. Now, the palate characterization. Apricot, truffled honey. So some really nice earthy notes, candied orange, as well as pine nut, um, a nice viscosity to the wine. So it's really a beautiful touch. I'm gonna put more information on this producer down below. I think it's exceptional, um, as well as questions and comments can be listed there. Right up here is the subscribe button. So please hit that button if you haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. I would love for you to try these wines. I think we live in a rich world, an amazing world of great wines that we've never had before. If you want to even look back 20 years, you would not have seen wines like this in the United States or very specialized markets like New York, and that's it. It would not have made its way west, north, or south of um, New York City, but I think that's the, the beauty of wine is we live in great wine times. Thank you for your support. 2018 is not done, but I have so many more wines to taste and to share with you. Stay tuned. Sante.